you have created this amazing animation, but it is at the bottom of your page. The problem is, as soon as the page loads, the animation starts playing. By the time user scrolls down to it, it's either in the middle of the show or already over. Not exactly the experience you were aiming for, right? The solution to this problem lies in the Intersection Observer API. This API allows you to detect when a specific element enters the user's viewport. In our case, it will be the animation section. This is a versatile tool and can also be used for building features such as lazy loading of images or implementing infinite scrolling. The Intersection Observer API works by checking if the target element is intersecting with the root element, which is usually the browser's viewport. If the target is visible on the screen, then it sets a property such as is intersecting to be true. This allows the developer to control what happens to the target element, like starting an animation or loading content. So let's use Intersection Observer API with Vue.js to ensure that our animation play at the perfect moment. We have a simple Vue.js component here. The templates have few sections with different background colors. There's also a soccer ball animation that moves from left to right within a green field when the page loads. The script setup is currently empty and the CSS controls the appearance and animation of these elements. To get started, we will need a target element that the observer can watch for its visibility on the screen. In our case, this target will be a section marked with a class fill. If you are using vanilla JavaScript, you can use document.query selector, but because we are going to take advantage of UGS template refs, I will be using a ref called soccer field for a target. To make all this happen, we will need to import ref from view. If you are using Nuxt.js like I am, you can skip this import step. With this ref, we will be able to obtain a reference to a target element, but it's crucial to ensure that the name of this ref matches with the ref value in the template. Now let's talk about controlling our animation. It's added to a div with CSS class soccer ball. Our trick is to keep this div hidden, only revealing it when the target element soccer field comes into view. To make this work, we will use a verif check to show the soccer ball only when the is visible property is true. And to manage this, we will create a state variable for this property and set its default value to false. Now, Inside our mounted lifecycle hook, we can start creating intersection observer. We want to do this inside on mounted so we can have access to the DOM elements of our component. To create an observer, we invoke its constructor, which requires a callback function as an argument. This callback function called handle intersect executes whenever an element we are observing enters or exits the viewport. This callback function accepts an array of entries, which are all the elements that this intersection observer is observing. Each of these entries represent the intersection information between the root element and the specified target. We will return to this function to define its logic. But first, to observe a target's intersection, we call the observe function on the observer. We pass our chosen target as an argument. This sets the observation in motion. Within our handle intersect function, we utilize a for each loop to iterate through each entry. We can log these entries to inspect their properties. Since we are observing just one element, that is the soccer field, there is only one entry. In this entry, we find various properties, including is intersecting. If is intersecting is true, it means our target is visible on the screen. Now. We can use if condition and when is intersecting property of our entry is true, we set the value of is visible to true. This signifies that our soccer ball can be made visible. Additionally, we have the options to include a second argument to the constructor, known as options. We can create an options object containing settings for the observer. Among these settings is threshold. It represents a ratio ranging from 0 to 1. A threshold value of 0 indicates that the callback function should be triggered as soon as the target element enters the viewport, even if it's just one pixel of the target which is visible. While a threshold of 1 
would mean that the entire target must be visible in the viewport before the callback function is triggered. Another option is root. This is the element against which our target intersects. If no value of the root was passed, then the document's viewport is used as root. Additionally, the root margin option in the intersection observer API defines an extra margin surrounding the root, whether it's the viewport or an element. By modifying this margin, we can fine-tune intersection calculations. The default margin is set to 0 pixel for all sides. Now let's see this in action. As we scroll down, the animation starts playing only when our target is visible in the viewport. While previously the animation would start as soon as the page was loaded. The intersection observer API had to achieve this by observing our target element and checking if it intersects with the viewport. Thus, by using this API, we enhance the user experience. So that's how you use the intersection observer API with Vue.js. It's a simple yet powerful way to manage elements as they come into the view. I encourage you to experiment with different threshold values and elements to observe. The possibilities are endless. Now feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you know of other ideas for using the Intersection Observer API. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. Have a great rest of your day and see you soon. Thank you.